So it's not known what causes congenital heart defects. I, uh, I get that question a lot from moms and dads, and I always tell them this, it's nothing you did wrong. It's really um, bad luck. There's a lot of genes that, that are uh, involved in the making of a heart, so we don't really know which genes, or most likely it's a lot of the genes that are not working well together that result in a heart defect at birth. So we don't really know at this point. <clears throat> what we do know is that m the vast majority of the congenital heart defects are very, very well treatable. Uh, the uh, success rate after repair is in the order of 98 to 99 percent, including the very severe ones. And so we're happy what we can offer the, the, the kids. And sometimes we see adults with heart defects or with congenital heart defects that have not been diagnosed as well. It's not a one-man show. This is always a team approach. Of course, you have to have a surgeon who knows what he or she is doing. That's, the, let's say, the first step. But then around the surgeon has to be competent anesthesiologists, competent nurses, competent perfusionists, who are the people who run the heart-lung machine, without which we cannot do open heart repair. We have basically a very well-oiled machine here, starting with the preoperative workup, the surgery, and the post-op care that really makes it so that we have outstanding results with these patients.